Hey, all right, so let's try the next problem in this HDL bit series. So the next problem is the last problem of very log language basics, and it is 7458 chip. So let's look at the problem. So this is a chip. It's a really old chip called a 7458. You can probably buy them from like Maplins or various electronics stores, I imagine. And we're going to write Verilog that has the same behavior as this 7458 chip. So we're treating this 7458 chip as a module. Uh, so this module has these various inputs, P1A, P1, P2A, P2B, etc. And then it's got two outputs, which is P2Y, P1Y. So this basically, you can imagine it's a chip. It's like a little black piece of plastic with like legs off the side. But it doesn't matter what shape it is or how it looks as hardware. Uh, we're just going to write the Verilog that describes the behavior of this chip in terms of like AND gates and OR gates and inputs and outputs. Most of this you should be able to do already. You've already seen AND gates, you've already seen OR gates, so uh, you've already seen module. So like, we've got a module here, it's got a few more ports than before but they're just standard input and output ports. You can see they're using the abbreviated approach here of just putting input and then a bunch of input ports. And again here, input followed by a bunch of input ports. Instead of having input P1A, input P1B, they just put input and then P1A, comma P1B, comma P1C, et cetera, et cetera. So you've seen module before, you've seen input ports and output before, put ports before, you've seen AND gates and OR gates before. So this is an AND, this is an OR. The only thing that might be slightly confusing is these AND gates, which have three inputs. So let's look at that. An AND gate with three inputs is basically like A and B and C. So it's nothing particularly scary, but let's just write it out. So let's say we've got out one, it's an output port, and A, B, and C are input ports, or these could all be wires, it doesn't really matter. So there are various ways of writing this which are all completely identical. We can do output out one equal a and b and c. So that is completely correct and exactly has the exact behavior depicted in this diagram. So basically all of these have to be one for the output to be one. If any of them are zero, the output is not one. Right, another way we could write this is a and b and c in brackets. So basically A and B will only be true, will only be one if A and B are both one. And then if we take the output of this and we end it with this, the output of the whole thing will only be one if A and B are both one and C is also one, right? And we could also do, we could also put the brackets a different way. We could put them like this. All right, so all three of these have the exact same effect. Out one, what? only be one if A and B and C are all one. Right, so that's the only new thing here really. So I think you have all the information you need in order to do this. Oh, the VCC in the ground you can just completely ignore. I mean, we don't handle that in the Verilog. Like basically VCC means one and ground means zero, but we don't wire this up. I mean, at some point down the line, the synthesizer the synthesizer won't wire it up. If we were actually like laying out the silicon, then we would have power lines across the silicon in a grid. But at the very log level, at this behavioral level, we don't need to think about the VCC and the ground. Cool, all right, so let's show the pause slide. All right, so pause slide. So at this point, please pause the video, attempt the problem, and then once you've tried the problem, made a reasonable attempt and unpause the video and then we can go through the, the problem together. So see you on the other side of the pause. All right, so I'm going to assume you've either paused the video and attempted the problem or you just want to watch and see the solution. Either way is totally fine. Let's go through this problem. So we've got these two inputs going through this AND. Uh, so let's create a wire that's going to store the output of that. So P2, P, so we've got P2A, P2B going through this AND, P2C, P2D going through this AND. I mean, it'd be tempting to just do this as a single in one go actually, because it's just going through this one gate. But like just to practice wires, let's just do it separately. All right, so we're gonna have a wire 
so let's say, so we've got two ands on the P2 side and P two ands on the P1 side. Uh, so let's say um, P2 and 1 and P2 and 2, and we've also got P1 and 1 and P1 and 2. All right, so I'm saying this is P2 and 1, the A and the B, the C and the D is P2 and 2. Uh, this uh, P1, B and C, this is P1 and 1, and this D, E, F, this is P1 and 2. All right, then let's, let's uh, wire this up. So assign P2 and 1 equal, and I think this is A and B. Yeah, A and B. P, oh, P2A and P2B. P2A and P2B. And then similarly for P2 and 2, I guess this is P2C and P2D, yes. P2C and P2D. Right, and then let's do P1 and 1. So this is the triple and, right? So this is P1A, P1B, P1C. So P1A and P1B and P1C. And similarly for P1 and 2, this is probably like P1, D, E, and F, right? Yes. All right, so P1, D, P1, E, and P1, F. Right, then we're going to do the output. So we've got P2Y is P2 and 1 or P2 and 2. So let's do that. So P2Y equal P2 and 1 or P2 and 2. So that's this. We've, so we've done this whole block here. So P2Y equal P2 and 1 or, this is an or, P2 and 2. And then similarly for this, P1Y is P1 and 1 or P1 and 2. So very similar to the P2 case here. So assign P1Y equal P1 and 1 or P1 and 2. All right, so we should have wired up the chip unless I've made some typos or something. So let's submit that and see what happens. Yeah, I got something wrong. Okay, so P1Y is correct and P2Y has some errors. So let's have a look. So P2Y, so we're gonna have to do some debugging. All right, so let's just like have a look again. So the P2Y is the one that's wrong. So that's this one. And right, because I've got P2D and P2D, it should be P2C and P2D. Right, so we don't have to do any fancy debugging. We just have to like check our code for typos in this case. Oh, if I hadn't seen it by eyeballing, then I would have started looking a bit more debugging. All right, so that passed, so that succeeded. Uh, is there a, so there's no, there's no, um, there's no like official solution here, so that's it. Cool, all right, so that's the end of this problem. Uh, so if you got this far, um, that's great. Um, if you've got any questions or concerns, please put that in the comments. If there's something that you don't understand, please put that in the comments. If you've got any suggestions or ideas for things I could do better or differently, or things that I shouldn't do or avoid or whatever, please put it in the comments. If you liked this video, enjoyed it somehow, uh, please click the like, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next video.